You know that we are now officially living together? Uh, no. You're staying for a few days. Well, whatever you want to call it. I just think we need to sort out our roles a bit. I'm going to be the breadwinner, and you can do all the cooking and gleaning. <sighs> Has anybody ever told you that you're not funny? Only by you. Here I am, living out of a suitcase again. Mummy, put some clothes on. No one don't mind, do you, love? We're practically family now, anyway. I'm sorry. Do you think your dad would mind if I put a wash on? Paddy's not his dad. I keep doing that. Who is he again? He's just a good mate. Hmm. I really need to get some new clothes. Last trip I went on, my mate said to me, Hazel, pack everything you think you'll need, take half of it out, and you'll still have plenty. So I did. Arrived in Goa to find I didn't have any tops. At all. Which was fine, really, as they're fairly easy going over there. Mum. Yeah, I was thinking, how about me taking you out for a little drinky tonight? As a thank you for putting me up. You don't need to do that. No, I, I want to. Look, I'll just bung this on and then I'll run myself a bath. Shower. It's my own son banning me from taking a bath. Well, because every time you do, we end up homeless. I better get to work. All right, love. Have a good one. And thanks again for putting me up. It's very kind of you. Not a morning person, is he? Mm. Mm. I'll make us one of those, please. No, I'll make it yourself. Does this mean that the honeymoon's over? No, it just means stop being such a lazy cat. Here we are. Wait, don't eat too much. I want you both starving tonight for some of Hazel's home cooking. Great. Everything all right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Just telling the boys I'm going to cook dinner tonight. Right. Oh, actually, I'm out tonight with Rona and Marlon, so you'll have the place all to yourself. Well, don't mind us. You just carry on as if we're not here. Well, I won't be late, so I'll see you then. He's really nice, your Paddy. Yeah, he's all right. Was it his lust for life or his wicked sense of humour that first attracted you? Just dig in. So you changed your mind about going out then? No, no, I just suddenly thought it'd be rude to go out when you got oh, guest here. Yeah. See, I still can't work this out. So you used to go out with Aaron's mum? For a bit, yeah. Won him in the custody battle, did you? No, no. No, it wasn't really like that. So how comes you're here? Because as annoying as he is, it's still better than living with your mum. Well, washing up won't do itself, will it? <laughs> Paddy, wash or dry? Oh. Let's give him a moment, shall we? I think Aaron's finding me an acquired taste. I know. She's not always this bad. She's just trying to make an impression. She's done that all right. Well, you won't have to put up with either of us for much longer. How do you mean? Well, I can see how much you're loving this domestic situation. Can you? I've got a bit of money saved up. I'm almost finished on Declan's. I'm going on holiday. Where to? The Kinthos, Ibiza. Anywhere I can get a cheap deal, I'm gonna put my mum in the B&B. &B. And when are you going? Tomorrow, day after. Scared you off then, have I? Well, it wasn't a great idea, was it? I'll get out your hair for a couple of weeks, and then we can see how things are when we get back. And everyone's happy. Oh, no! Don't tell me it's playing up already! No, 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 I'll tell you, just asked us to give it the once over, check everything was all right before we started driving it. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, not long will we be in business, eh? Yeah. Where is he? Oh, he's at Kane's talking about renting the old cab office. Oh, good. Good. Thanks. See you later. Hey, morning! <laughs> good to be. You must have been out of crack of dawn this morning. Yeah, well, I've got to get this finished today. Don't look at me, it's ruined my nails. Look, I've uh, booked an holiday. Great idea. I hope we don't mind. You know me. Travel's my middle name. Sun, sea, sand. Maybe a holiday romance with a charming backpacker. The holidays for me, not for it. I know how your mind works. Meaning? 
I get the distinct impression that everything's not perfect here in paradise. Well, it is going to be a bit awkward, isn't it, all of us crammed into paddies? And your answer is to bail out and leave the rest of us to deal with it? Well, no, not exactly. I'm booking into the B&B, if that's all right. Fine by me. Well, I don't think he'll miss me too much. Give you to it. Could be next, I said. Uh, look, I've booked myself a couple of weeks in Lanzarote and my mum's fine to go into the B&B, so a bit of quiet at last, day. Eh? Yeah. Hiya. Oh, hello. Thought I'd been stood up. Oh, I've had community payback all afternoon. Last day and all that one. Sorry, forgot. No, it's fine. Just glad it's over with. And, um, it leaves me clear to come on holiday with you. I mean, that's if you want me to. Oh, I thought you might need a little break from me. No. But I think a break from the village is probably what we both need. And I've had a word with Paddy. Your mum don't need to go back to the B&B. He's happy for it to stay at ours. A lot braver than me, though. Oh. Well, thought you thought of everything. Well, I figured I kind of owed it, yeah. Jackson, my little darling. Oh, do you have to call me that? Uh, no, but I like it. What do you want? What time's your flight? Three or half past three, I think. Why? I thought I'd run you to the airport. You mean you're angling to borrow my van while I'm away? Well, it'll stop it seizing up. You can borrow me flight socks. Oh, no thanks. Well, I've washed them. Uh, no thanks. Uh, they're great. Stop you getting blood clots. It was an accident. Mate, you don't have to explain. With a mother like mine, this is just amateur stuff. I cannot tell you how many doors, windows, tables, toilets, you name it, she's busted. it. <laughs> so you can sight it then? Well, I might have time before I get on my flight. Uh, I'll have to cut a new panel for it, but have you got any spare paint? Uh, no. You'll leave, give your landlord a call? Well, I don't want Natasha knowing. All right. No worries, I'll just see what I can do. Good. There you go. Is, uh, everything all right? Yeah. Yeah. You're Aaron's mum, aren't you? Oh, great. What's he done now? I just dropped him off at the airport. Oh, are you a taxi? Sort of. I'm Jackson's mum. I've been staying with him for a bit. Oh, I, I haven't seen you around. You know what they're like. Embarrassed to be seen out with their mums. Well, now they're gone, I might actually see the inside of the pub. Oh, yeah. I might join you for one sometime. That'd be great. We're practically family now, anyway. <laughs> Though Jackson would kill me if you heard me say that. Yeah, so would Aaron. Kids, eh? Mm. See ya. Yeah.